Hello boys, Mrs Wisdom here. Your theme for your exam this year, for your art exam, is animals. You'll produce a piece of art in any medium of your choice, 2D or 3D, on any scale in response to this theme. There are no limits or restrictions except that it must be your own original idea and that you should spend a minimum of 90 minutes on it. Before you begin, you should watch Grayson's Art Club Episode 2, where the theme is also animals. In this programme, you will see some professional artists responding to the theme, but also a whole range of amateur artists, viewers of the show, who have submitted work on the theme. Grayson is particularly interested in what animals mean to us as human beings in art. At the start of the show, he shows us this image created by humans 35,000 years ago and points out that humans have been making animal art for a very long time indeed. Each week on his show, Grayson invites viewers to submit artwork. He looks through all of the work that the viewers have sent in and chooses the ones that he particularly likes to go in an exhibition once lockdown is over. You can see a wide range of approaches here to creating paintings of dogs. Here's some more viewers' artwork. And more here. Look closely at the cow picture. Can you see it's a Louis Vuitton and a Burberry cow? I wonder what gave someone that idea. Each week Grayson has a celebrity guest and invites them to make some art. Grayson's celebrity guest this week is Harry Hill, the comedian and TV presenter. Harry is also a practicing artist and has his own art studio. Grayson asks him to respond to the theme and Harry chooses to make a dog sculpture out of a lump of wood. Rather brutal, but funny at the same time, Harry, using an axe and various other tools, gradually models the dog. I think he looks rather pleased with himself here. You'll have to watch the programme to see the finished result. Grayson asks Harry what he enjoys about making art. Harry says, there's an element of therapy about it. The great thing about doing art is that when I'm doing art, I'm completely in it. I'm not thinking about anything else. The viewer who created these bird sculptures also said, if I wasn't doing this, I think I'd be really struggling. Grayson really encourages people to be creative. He says, it can't be said too many times. A real relationship with making art can be an awfully good thing in times when we're struggling. I'm not saying what sort of art. You can write poems. You can make videos. You can do knitting. You can make elaborate meals or anything. Creativity is a way of dealing with what's going on in your life. Noel Fielding, another comedian and TV presenter, is a regular visitor to the programme. He is also an artist and is known for his wild, wacky paintings that usually contain a slight element, element of madness and surrealism. They reflect Noel's character completely. Noel says, I feel like I'm trying to get something out of me when I'm drawing. He talks about how he doesn't like working small, that it suits him to work big and be really active while he's working. And you can see that in this middle picture. That suits him, but would it suit you? We're all different. Be sure to choose an idea that is really what you want to do. How might your artwork of an animal reflect your character? What is your favourite animal? Or perhaps the animal you most fear? You could cre How could you create an artwork of an animal that symbolises something? A viewer's artwork that I particularly liked was this one. A very colourful image showing a polar bear. When you look closely, you can see it is a collage of lots of small images. I can see a plastic water bottle, a plane, a skull, some classical sculptures. A really clever piece of work that seems to me to be saying something about our impact on the environment and wildlife. That polar bear looks really sad, doesn't it? I probably wouldn't attempt a collage like this if I were you for your exam, as it would definitely take longer than you have for your exam. But it's a great piece of work. This is Grayson's cat called Kevin. What is it about cats wanting to sit in empty cardboard boxes? In this programme, both Grayson and his wife make a piece of art based on Kevin. It's interesting to see their different interpretations and how they're influenced by other artworks as well. Here you can see the artwork that influenced his wife, Philippa, at the top. And below is her clay model of Kevin. It doesn't look much like the cat we saw in the box just now, but that doesn't matter. She has produced a great piece of artwork. She also hasn't just copied the artwork that inspired her. You can see there's an influence without it being a straight copy. Hers is actually much more elaborate. 
Here is Grayson's influence for his peats. It's an Islamic incense burner. Here you can see him planning first. You can see he has used pencil and pen in his plan. And here you can see him working on the sculpture. And then Grayson and Philippa admiring his progress. So to summarise, watch Grayson's Art Club episode 2, plan your work before you start by producing one or two sketches and submit your plans on Teams. At the end of the show Grayson says we're never more human than when we make art about animals. In painting animals and sculpting animals and making art about animals we're doing something quite complex in that we're projecting who we are, our aspirations, our thoughts, our fears, our feelings about the situation we find ourselves in onto the innocent fluffy backs of our animal friends and what we've seen is that that can take many forms. So what form will your animal art take? Decide what animal you would like to represent and how you would like to represent it. Think about what idea you want to communicate with your work. Decide what materials you want to use and sketch at least one plan. Submit your plan on the assignment on Teams. I can't wait to see your responses.